Okay, round two. Yes, we're going to play first. Uh, that's a keep. I like it. Yeah, we'll remember we have that Eidolon in the board, by the way. I think if we face an aggressive deck, we'll probably want it. It's not the most amazing card in this in this deck. But it probably still makes the cut. It's borderline. This is a fine opener, though, against most decks. Flesh Man Steed in to read the bones, keep the land drops going. Steed is just okay. Don't don't confuse it with an actually good card. Like if this is a bail fly to line, I'd be super happy. All right, let's uh, let's read some bones and see what we're looking at. Farika's cure and a sip. Yeah. I'll take them both. Yeah, it seems totally fine to me. It gets, I mean, remember we're drawing both, so we still have equal chance to draw lands as we move forward here. And uh, that's kind of the name of the game with this deck is just hitting our land drops. So let's just keep, I, I mean, I think we're just kind of the aggressors here. And uh, since our opponent's missing his land drop for last turn, oh, maybe he didn't actually, but just didn't do anything. Emissary. A little bit awkward. Hmm. Yeah, I think I was going to play the sentry. So I was. It doesn't. It didn't matter if I lashed the whip pre-combat or post because it taps down my steed anyway. Um. See if he if if he suits up. Yeah, that's annoying, but we get to we can uh, still get him here with uh, sip. Sip's gonna tap our steed and make it so we only get to get in with this guy. I don't want to trade my harpy yet. We can freak his cure this next turn. He's not going to be happy about this. Yeah, I'm just going to do this now. All right, so green, red. Viper's Kiss seems good. Voyage's End really does seem good. I, I'm going to do what I did last time and switch out. I think this original version is better. I mean, obviously, I think that that's why I started it, but. But I do feel like uh, this the, these voyages and are certainly good versus some decks. This is obviously a lot better now. Same with our lamp pad. Steed is still pretty unexciting. I think I can cut a steed here. We haven't really seen enough of his deck to know yet. Yeah, this will work. Uh, not an exciting hand. Yeah, it's got a little more exciting. Okay, now it just got awesome. He's even missing land drops for us. Unfortunately, we're not really able to punish that because we're doing just kind of nothing here, but we're going to start chaining together some pretty sick stuff. <laughs> Don't care about that card at all. Start with the lamp pad. All right, that's a little better, though. Got to respect that one. Um, I want to use up all my mana here, so I think I'm gonna just going to go for the Keepsake Gorgon. Because I want to be able to, next turn, I want to be able to uh, play two things. I want to play Disciple and Scourge Mark next turn. And then bring down the Heat. Alright, looks like he's got something here. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Um, let's 
start with this. What is this? Oh. Hmm. Well, that worked out nicely for me. Because I get to see his whole hand here, and then I get to kill that stupid thing. Horizon Scholar, Mnemonic Wall, Rage, Tactics, Leaf Crown Dryad. Alright, so what's going to happen this game? I'm going to probably Grey Merchant him out at some point here. So it's going to be a combination of disciple, or excuse me, of a Cavern Lampad and Grey Merchant that kills this guy. So I think that I just need to keep that alive. So I think I can just take Rage here. Um, if I take Rage, Farika's Cure this, attack him for two, then I think I'm going to be in a pretty good spot. He doesn't gain any life off that, because I'm actually racing him here pretty hard. So I'm going to take Rage. It's also the thing that he can cast the soonest. Kill that right now. And attack with these two. Yeah, Rage gets his spell high Chimera up one notch, but whatever. If I draw a land, I can also keep Sacorgan away, anything super pesky. Alright, so he did draw the land. He's going to get Rage back. Yeah, he knows. But I'm already going to get too many hits in before it matters. That's the problem that he's facing here. So let's... Scourge mark this guy. Earmarking him for death, but he will get his job done before then. Because right now, our opponent's basically dead because we actually want one creature dead. I guess I should have still attacked with Keepsake. Yeah, that was a little... I mean, he, he blocks, but like I should have made him just throw away his wall. Not going to affect this game, but why not? You know, he's tapped out. Attack him. Now he's in just a horrible spot. All right. Oh, he had Lightning Strike? Well, he can't do both, though. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah, see, if I would have attacked... Okay, he left it back anyway. Yeah, it didn't matter. Uh, and then I just get back Grey Merchant and Lampad, and we're, we're done here. All right, so again, we kind of combo off, but that's what Merchant can do for you. It just allows those type of comic, uh, combat uh, combo things to happen. We'll see you guys in the finals.